come out of fossil hunting and there's been a fresh shale fall. It's quite a number of shale pieces and pebbles to look through. So let's see what fossils we can find. I've already found a couple of ammonites. I'll show you those first, then we'll have a look for some more. I've already found these two nodules. You can see there's an ammonite inside this one. There's another pretty spherical nodule, which may or may not contain a fossil. Let's look for some more. You can see here the stall of this fresh shale, which has literally just appeared on the beach a few days after we were last here. Could be all sorts of fossils hidden amongst it. You can already see over there what looks to be some sort of interesting nodule. Let's have a walk along and see what we can find. Very partially preserved ammonite specimen right here. Even though it's only partial, it still looks quite nice. But we'll be leaving this here for someone else to see as they walk along. It's also another very partial ammonite specimen right there. Nothing inside that. This ammonite here, oh, it's loose. Just a tiny little bit of limestone covering the specimen itself. It's got a little bit missing here, possibly being predated before it was fossilized. That should clean up really quickly with the tools at home. Probably looks empty. Looks like that one would be very difficult to open up as well. Now there's definitely an ammonite fossil in this shot. Can you see where it is? It's definitely an ammonite in that nodule there. And there's quite possibly one right there as well. The one that we can definitely see. Difficult to know if it'll open up well, but it looks complete at least. And there's the other nodule that we spotted just before we started walking along. And there's another right here. There's loads of potential nodules in all this fresh shale. That'll be worth opening up. That nodule will surely contain a lovely ammonite as well. I'm surprised just how many specimens that we're finding. There's been a pretty large ammonite fossil inside that. There's a couple more preserved on top of this slab. Really large partial ammonite right there. Nice and piratized. We've had a pretty good look for some fossils there. I've just spotted as well a few shale preserved ammonites and we'll have a look at those now. There's a lovely section of shale here covered in compressed ammonites. These are different to the species that we've seen so far. These have all just been naturally eroded by the sea. They'll all be eroded away as well by the sea relatively quickly. Nice little piece of crinoid there as well.
really lovely detail considering the sea has just eroded them naturally like this. There's a few more just starting to be exposed here as well. Very nice. These were the first two that we found and now we've also found a few more nodules to add to it. Just got all these after a few minutes of looking, although we were quite lucky given that there was all of that fresh shale to look through. Let's open some of them up. very poorly preserved ammonite. Let's try the next one. Again, very poorly preserved. Not having much luck so far. That one was completely empty. Just given this nodule with an ammonite inside, a couple of taps with the hammer. Let's see what it's like inside. Well, that's pretty nice. It's not the best preservation, but it's got some really lovely pyritization and calcification. Not a bad piece. This ammonite here, it's just an imprint. However, it's a really lovely example. Let's wash it off. Look at all that lovely calcite and all the pyritization. I'll be leaving this here for someone else to find. Hopefully they enjoy it when they come along and find it. Overall, our ammonite finds today haven't been too exciting. However, I've had another look and we've come across some more. As I've been walking along, I found a number of other specimens stuck in some clay. Let's pull them out and crack them open. It's an awesome ammonite nodule trapped down here. There we go, we've released it. Bit of preparation, that'll look incredible. In fact, we could probably quite easily remove this bit of limestone just with the hammer and chisel. Oh, wow. It had a perfect ammonite inside. That is incredible. Such a perfect fossil. Wasn't expecting it to be that nice. This crusty nodule down here looks to contain ammonite fossil from the Jurassic. It's really, really eroded. But inside there should be a pretty nice ammonite fossil. Started to reveal some of the ammonite now. It's really, really eroded as we knew. However, inside there is a complete center of the ammonite specimen, completely intact. I've just managed to reveal the final part of the fossil. Look at that. Turned out to be pretty nice. That's all of the fossil hunting we're going to be doing for today. Now let's head home and have a look at one of our favourite fossils, which we've already got fully prepared. Can't wait to show you it. Every single nodule here contains an ammonite fossil. They range from large to small ammonites and also different species. The majority of nodules here will open up really well. You can never guarantee which ones will. However, these have the best chance. 
If you'd like a selection of ammonites to open up yourself at home, please contact us on our Instagram page, yorkshire.fossils, or alternatively, visit our official website, yorkshirefossils.net, for both ammonites to open yourself, as well as fully prepared specimens. And if you do get some, I really hope you enjoy opening them, and thanks in advance for supporting what we do. Next up, we're going to be having a look at that fossil that we just mentioned. The fossil we're looking at today is a Jurassic marine crocodile vertebra. It's absolutely surreal, and you'll see why in just a moment. This ancient fossilized bone is from a Jurassic marine crocodile. The bone that we're looking at is one of the vertebrae from the beast. The bone has been fully removed from all of the surrounding matrix which had preserved it for over 180 million years. With all of the rock removed, you can see all the way around this perfect example of a fossil crocodile vertebra. To find a vertebra as intact as this is exceptionally rare. And this is actually one of the only examples that we have ever found of this quality and completeness. You can see due to the spinous process and the transverse processes of the vertebra, they're really delicate. And almost always they will be completely eroded before the fossil is actually found. Luckily we found this one before it was eroded. We're really pleased with this fossil. Let us know in the comments what you think about it. That's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at that fossil and that you like it as much as we do. Thanks for watching. If you do decide to get some ammonites to open yourself at home, we'd really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.